Well, aloha. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Very happy to be connecting with you today. My name is Paul Fletcher. I am a certified master teacher. I've been certified by the Dow Academy. The Dow Academy is an organization originated by Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, who was a world-renowned healer and a world-renowned servant to humanity. And he is the one that brought me a great deal of the wisdom associated with Kuan Yin and Kuan Yin Buddha. And so today, <clears throat> I will be sharing with you just a little bit of that. And mostly I'll be asking Kuan Yin to share with you her information. Because honestly, I don't know a lot about Kuan Yin other than what I've read. And you've probably read the same things I have. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's accurate or correct or, at the, or that it carries any of the highest wisdom. <clears throat> so today we're going to ask Kuan Yin for some high level wisdom. And I'm going to ask you to not ask for a soul reading for you personally because I don't want to do a personal soul reading for everybody. Not today. But today I'm going to ask you to ask questions about life. Uh, you know about the world about anything besides you or someone specific uh, so we're not going to do soul readings this is honoring the wisdom of Kuan Yin and then for those that stick around you will receive a huge blessing because I am very blessed to be a Kuan Yin lineage holder thank you Master Sha and I have been blessed to receive the second level of that lineage holder which not too many people have been blessed to receive that and so when I chant the uh, Kuan Yin mantra the Dabe Jo <coughs> which is invoking the 87 associated Buddha to her incarnation lineage then you will each receive a huge blessing so I encourage you to stick around for that so let's check in with who's joined us so far today. Welcome, Talks. Welcome, Penelope. Aloha, Chris. Hey, thank you for your presence. Welcome, Samba. Welcome, Jin Damaj. And welcome, Joy. And aloha, Nimwaila. Welcome also to Rawita. Aloha, Tereshina. Uh, aloha, Janine. Aloha, and welcome, Mark Wright. Lena. Can't pronounce that last name. Sorry. Uh, welcome, Maria de Jong. <coughs> and aloha to uh, Dan. Welcome, Bursin. Welcome, Prisca. Welcome, Teresa Darling. Welcome also, Diana Vittoria. Uh, and aloha to uh, Lord Donna. Great to see you here, Lord Donna. Welcome also to Angie Taylor. If I missed your name, love you. Forgive me. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming, and thank you also for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. So again, we're going to be focusing on uh, general wisdom based questions that I will ask Kuan Yin to offer guidance on this will not be individual tell me about my problem with this person this will not I won't be doing any soul readings for individual private personal stuff or between you and another person <clears throat> okay and then we'll offer a blessing so I look forward to seeing your questions and uh, I'll scroll back to them and so in the meantime though let's go ahead and connect and we'll invite uh, all the beings of light including Kuan Yin into this session today <clears throat> so dear the divine the Tao the source our beloved creator by whatever name you owe, go by they're all the beings of light serving the light plan angels healing angels archangels all the ascended masters Lama Sifus Guru Saints all the Buddhas all the Bodhisattvas beloved Jesus and Mother Mary beloved Kuan Yin 87 Buddha Amitofu Happy Buddha, Medicine Buddha, Beloved Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, and more beings of light, the soul of Beloved Mother Earth, the sun and the moon. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We invite you to please be present at this time. And as I connect to serve all of the beautiful souls that have shown today, I ask that you please offer each and every one of these beautiful souls your love, wisdom, and blessings to assist them to pass their spiritual testing and to uh, move through and beyond whatever blockages that are happening in their life thank you thank you thank you 
And so let us chant one round of love, peace, and harmony. And then uh, please post your question to Kuan Yin about anything that is not personal. Okay? <clears throat> lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. O la lu la li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la. Wo ai wo xian er li. Wo ai zuan ren li. Ang li rong er mu she shong. Song I ping on her shin. Song I ping on her shin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, welcome everybody. Welcome, Joy. Aloha, Rosa. Aloha, Jody. Welcome. Uh, Aloha, Rosetta. Welcome to. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody? Shakira, Atena, welcome, Candy, Aloha, Alejandro, and Monica, Michelle, welcome, Lana, uh, and welcome, Luis, and Suzy, and Joy Weber. Okay, so I'm scrolling back now to the first question I saw, which was from Jen. Uh, how do we get closer to Kuan Yin and her teachings? Okay, so dear beloved Kuan Yin, can you please... Offer your guidance, your wisdom, your teachings for this question. My beloved Jennifer, I am an unconditional servant to you and to humanity. Proximity or closeness is as easy as opening the heart for this is where I reside I am one with the source I do not profess to be enlightened but I do acknowledge that this is where my heart is I sit in the divine's heart and I sit in your heart the fastest way to connect to me or to your beloved divine is to open your heart and ask us to enter ask us to serve you to release your suffering your mind or busyness may not consciously recognize what has been instantly accomplished but that does not mean the benefits were not given this is the highest and simplest answer this is Kuan Yin how how, how. thank you Kuan Yin okay next question I see for Kuan Yin is from Samba has Kuan Yin reincarnated and is with us on this uh, live cast right now? <laughs> My beloved Samba, such a pure heart and such a silly question. Of course, dear one, I am standing by your side as I am with all of you. In the soul world, we are not restricted by space or 
what you might refer to as one body. Uh, when I was asked to serve at this live stream, and also because I have accepted Paul in my lineage, I have a duty to serve when called, and I am here for each of you. My incarnations are many, in the millions, actually, should you count from the first birth, from the heart of my beloved Father. But I was not a human in my first birth, so to speak. We all start on a smaller scale. And so, yes, I am here. In the physical, well, that is to be determined with time. This is what I can share with you for now. How? Okay. Still looking for the next question. Angie would love to ask ways to help stay in compassion while standing up for self to best transform energy between souls. Having higher perspective on our experiences, no matter how they appear to understand all in our path have divine purposes. Okay. I don't fully understand that, but I'm sure Kuan Yin does, so I'll let her answer. Dear Kuan Yin, can you please answer this uh, question? My dear Angie, your question is actually quite relevant to the majority of humanity. Compassion is still viable and relevant in a great deal of human beings but those who live in the larger cities those who tend to be more compartmentalized by electronics and all those things that demand of your mind and time these lose the compassion because this is lost, it makes it much more difficult to communicate with others when their communication is painful. Each of you have experienced communications with loved ones, friends, and family members, or even co-workers, that is painful, that is hurtful and unpleasant leaving you in a place emotionally hurt and raw. Your question is, how can I be loving and compassionate while others may not be? And how can I keep my life in a strong space while I am trying to be present to be happy for others, such as family, children, etc.? The short answer is this, love yourself. Love your thought that might have been negative and change it. Love your words that might have been hurtful and change it. Love yourself for making those mistakes and make agreement to be more loving in your words and actions. Love your previous choices even though they may not have turned out to be the best choices love the lessons you have learned from those choices love that you are choosing to love yourself instead of beat yourself up love that you are learning every day and that it is difficult every day love that you can identify that it is difficult in that moment, but choose to open your heart more to God and to me. For it is love that will truly melt all of these pain-filled experiences, past memories, and those things that appear to be difficult to overcome. 
love is the solution it is about being present as much as possible in that space if it is beneficial then have an amulet or something that you can touch squeeze hold look at that instantly brings you love and this will help keep you in the right heart space this wisdom can be applied to everyone listening ha, ha, ha. thank you thank you thank you Andy okay joy Holmes says my question is how can we uh, how can one obtain the grace of divine God Derek Kuan Yin, can you please assist with this answer hey, you. how the divine's grace is what you swim in it is what you breathe in it is what animates your very being the divine's grace is what you are already part of in order to be more attuned aware aligned to the divine's grace that you are swimming living and breathing in it requires you to disconnect from all that you know separates you in any form from purity kindness love compassion forgiveness and other attributes that are associated with the divine's purity the inability to know you are the fish swimming in the water is due to the accepted false wisdoms accepted false ways of being and accepted automatic responses and beliefs it is not that you are to question everything it is more that you are to use your time and moments to expand those attributes and qualities that are of the Creator so in other words instead of automatic reactions instead of pontification uh, of a math problem etc spend more time gracefully in the beauty of the aroma and smell of the flower in the bird song in the child's giggle become more cognizant of God's grace in the water of life that you swim in on a moment-to-moment -moment basis this is my guidance at this time how 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 thank you thank you thank you if anybody's third eye is open they can let me know if they can see Kuan Yin here <clears throat> so Joy Weber asks how can we help heal a very old massive trauma carried out on a group of people that occurred on lands that do not belong to you something that happened hundreds of years ago hmm, good question so Jerry Kuan Yin, can you please offer guidance on this hey, oh. 
how this group, this land, this trauma is a imprint on the fabric of time. There is predecessors to the imprint and ramifications after the fact. In order for the dissolution of this, regardless of whom it is or where it is at, the preceding energetics that brought about the experience itself must be addressed how then does one clear spiritual debt it has been taught by your beloved teacher master Shah forgiveness erases spiritual debt this is what needs to be addressed at the level of energetics before the manifestation into the fabric of time. Once that is addressed by all of the ancestors of those that preceded the actual ones involved in the suffering and of the souls of the ones involved in the suffering, and once the forgiveness has been led and accepted by those whom brought about that condition, then the fabric of time and the physical space of the land will be appropriately healed. ceremony of the ancient American Indian tribal customs could be in addition advantageous to this particular request how 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 thank you thank you thank you okay uh, Samba I asked Answered one question earlier. Uh, you ask, is he incarnated as Gaia Sophia? So I've been told not to answer that at this time. Rawitsa, <clears throat> uh, how can you open your heart more in daily life? And how do you, and how do soul conference for every aspect of life on the most effective way? How can you open your heart more in daily life and how do you so conference for every aspect of life in the most effective way? Okay. Dear Konyan, can you please offer guidance? Dear one, this question is much like a diamond that has many cut facets each facet projecting light in a different direction in order to open the heart it depends on which facet you wish to place your focus you have how many different types of relationships some doing well some need blessings which ones can you define are in need of love this represents one facet on the face of the rounded diamond apply this to any area of your life wherever there is imbalance unpleasant energy suffering lack of correct 
love-based thinking. Each of these facets need love. And so you say, how do I open my heart to love more? It is simple. Locate the areas that are lacking it and love them. Forgive any and all human and otherwise that may have contributed to imbalance in that area. This then cleans each and every surface of each and every facet allowing more love and light to come in allowing deeper blockages to be revealed soul conferencing is one of the least utilized and yet greatest and most powerful tools introduced to humanity the highest and best way to achieve the greatest goal with soul conferencing is to follow a pattern of inviting all of those souls that in any manner in all time will have an effect on the conference. Secondly, inviting the light beings to serve with the desired win-win outcome. If it is not win-win, it will not be successful. Thirdly, to do a thorough forgiveness with all the souls that have been invited. Fourthly, to communicate with all the souls invited as if they were in front of you in a honorable and respectful win-win manner, clearly explaining everything as if you were reading it off a piece of paper, a flyer, a website, or whatever that you may be trying to get across to them. And finally, asking any mantra which could include love peace and harmony but could include my mantras to serve and bless all of those that have come chant until you forget why you're chanting and then show your gratitude and ask the souls to return this is my guidance on this day. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Rita. Welcome, Richard. For those that came in, I'm offering guidance from Kuan Yin. Uh, it's not a personal question. I'm not going to be doing any personal questions here. It's general guidance about general questions about life. Okay. Welcome, Johnny Mambode. Aloha, Bari. Welcome, Carrie. Welcome, also, Dean. Teresa Darling asks, Dear beloved Kuan Yin, could you share some insights on how to study the Dabe Jo to memorize it and to sing it out loud? Good question. And for those that stick around, I will be singing the Dabe Jo to bless you in probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Hey, are you, my beloved Teresa? Place my image and my words under your pillow, between your pillow sheet and pillow. Connect with my soul and my incarnations. Ask each of my incarnations to come to you while your soul is nourishing itself and your body is sleeping we will 
assist you with the memorization of the tune and the names. Play the Da Be Jo all night long while you sleep next to your bed on very low volume. Tell your soul and your subconscious memory to receive all of the words in the song, the tones of the song, all night long for easy recall upon waking up. This is my guidance on this day. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuan Yin. Okay, welcome, Magma. And I did answer Joyce's question. Rosetta, thank you, Kuan Yin, for your divine messages. Welcome, Pamela. Carter McClure, I channel Kuan Yin and wanted to know her to acknowledge this to me. I am honored and blessed. I am not sure what to do with these new spiritual gifts and openings of myself and would like guidance on my gifts of purity. Okay. Dear one, I thank you for your service. You receive my guidance from a pure heart. It is important that you continue to purify your heart because my message is not limited to a few. It should be heard by many as I am one of the messengers of the divine. I am grateful that we have had connection in other lifetimes and our soul agreement that your vessel can be used to serve others. The purity of my message is dependent upon the purity of your heart. If you have the ability to become a part of Kuan Yin lineage through Master Sha, or if you already are, then you are much more then you have much more possibility of aligning to my soul and being a conduit through which my services can bless others. I love you. This is Kuan Yin. How? 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 Thank you, Kuan Yin. Okay, Diana. Okay, Angie. So comments, I see the comments. Person, dear beloved Kuan Yin, is it possible to Mother Earth to be a love, peace, harmony planet? It seems like wars and civil wars are approaching. I love you. Thank you. Dear Conan, can you please assist with whatever wisdom you wish to share? Thank you. In the soul world, which surrounds your physical world, we only see light. Even with those that do not serve the light side agenda. We even 
see their light. This is because all souls originate from the heart of the divine. Therefore, it is immutable and unquestionable that everything will return to the heart of the divine. And there is only one path by which that can occur, which is the path of love and light. You may not see love, peace, and harmony as you envision it in your lifetime, but it does not mean it is not on the way and already a part of the plan of your Creator. But along the way, countless souls, not only on Earth, but in countless universes, will be uplifted and brought through the experience of separation from the source and reunification with the source. And it is this experience that is the nectar of life. It is what source was created for to be all experience in all time. So enjoy the ride, drink from the nectar of life, and always remain aligned to the lighthouse of the heart of your divine creator. This is Kuan Yin. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, welcome Bas Van Buren. Welcome Fidel, welcome Mina, those who came in late. Uh, you can ask a question of Kuan Yin that is not personal. It's a general question, a life-related question, a spiritual-related question, that's fine. <clears throat> so, uh, if, if, uh, won't do a general reading. Mina, if you wish to have a certain question, you may ask. Uh, okay, Jody asks, is, is there something we can recite to ourselves to help with healing? Okay, let me ask. Dear Kuan Yin, could you please offer guidance to Jody and to everybody on this question? Wow. I'm really surprised by what I hear, so I'll repeat it. These three sentences should be written down and spoken often. I love myself. I honor myself I forgive myself these three simple sentences serve one purpose and if you repeat them often enough that one purpose manifests which is love it is the solution for all healing. If all humanity repeated this mantra non-stop, I love myself, I honor myself, I forgive myself, and if they actually accepted and believed it, 
then literally love, peace, and harmony on earth would be almost instantaneous. That is how powerful it could be. Often the simplest way is the big way. How? Thank you, Han Yin. Okay. Welcome, Miriam. Mishriam. Uh, Mishriam. Uh, welcome, Corrado. Welcome, Santa Maria. <coughs> welcome, Teresina. Uh, Teresina asks, how can we distinguish? This? I'm going to do two more questions, and I'm going to offer blessings. So, Teresina and one more. Uh, how can we distinguish between who we are and, then I'll, yeah, and who we want to be? How can we distinguish between who we are and who we want to be? How? My dear Teresina, in the scripture of the Buddhist teachings known as the heart sutra there is words that is often misunderstood one of them being that everything is an illusion given the current human understanding this creates more confusion than value In order for one to discover self, align to self, understand their placement here and the soul world, one must first reveal all that holds the veil over their eyes some would call this karma others by different names and the removal of the veil can be done 84,000 ways as taught by Amitofo the key is to not get caught up in all those things that catch us and trigger reactions, pain, anger, and other unpleasant emotions. The key is to be the dweller on the threshold, watching life from a higher perspective witnessing the experience versus adding to it it is the witnessing as one does when a cloud floats by that makes the cloud so beautiful but if you waved a fan and the cloud washed away quickly you could irritate somebody else enjoying that cloud in the same way you must witness life as it comes to you in each moment and smile as you are witnessing a cloud when you bring yourself to each moment in this way you see the illusion for what it is you are no longer a puppet in the game and then you align to the original source from which you came this is a lifelong quest and journey 
and not one that is easy but with diligence time intention and the calling of myself and all the beings of light it is possible for anyone to reach highest enlightenment in one lifetime all that stands between you and that attainment is yourself and the veil that until it is disallowed is allowed How, how, how. Thank you, Kuan Yin. Wow. That took a lot to stay focused on what she was trying to say. Okay. Um, so no more questions because I'm running out of time and I want to give you guys a nice blessing. <clears throat> and so uh, thank you to all those that came in a little late. Might not be able to acknowledge you yet. So now uh, I'm going to ask um, the lineage power that I have received. Uh, being a Kuan Yin lineage holder to come to uh, all those that watch this video. I will chant what is called the Da Be Jo. And this is a mantra that <clears throat> represents the 88 incarnations of Kuan Yin Buddha. And this uh, uh, Kuan Yin is currently seen as a female, but has in other incarnations been seen as a male. Uh, and it doesn't really matter. Um, but at least now, Kuan Yin is referred to as a female, but many incarnations. And so as I chant this, uh, you may choose to receive or not. It's up to you. Uh, the blessings will come to you for your request at the level that they wish to offer them. And so silently make your request. To heaven I make a request to Kuan Yin unto the Da Be Jo 87 Buddha <clears throat> hey. prepare to receive I recommend you keep your eyes closed. I recommend you relax to receive. If your back is back away from the back of the chair, the chance of you receiving a better blessing is good. Unless you're in pain, then just relax. Blessing as appropriate. Begin. Chen Shou Chen Yin I da be shin po lo ni chen shu chen yin wo I da be shin po lo ni chen shu chen yin I da be shin to lo ni nam mo la da no wo la ye ye nam mo wo ye ye Bolo jie di so ben la ye Pu ti sa duo po ye Mo sa duo po ye Mo jalo ni ja ye an saben la fa yi su da nu da xia nam mo nu la jin chi yi li 
Bolo jedi shirfo laye popo namulu la jinshir shili mohu bendo sami Sa po to do tsu pang yun Sa po sa do nam mo po sa do nam mo po ji mo a tu tu da jer to an wo po lu shi lu cha di cha lu Ishili mo hu puti sa do sa po sa po mo la mo la mo shi mo shi li tu yun julo. Julo je man dulo dulo sa she ye di mo hu pa she ye di to lo to lo. Sai li ni shi fo la ye zhi la zhi la mo mo fa mo la mu di li yi shi shi Shernu, shernu, po la sheng, po la she ye, fa sha fa sheng, po la she ye, hu lu hu lu so la, hu lu hu lu shi li so. La sola shili shili hulu hulu puti ye puti ye putuo ye putuo ye shi. Li shi li mi di li ye nu la jin chu sai le se ni nu po ye mo so po he shi. So po he mo hu shi tuo ye so po he shi tuo yu ye so ben la ye so po. 
no la jin so po mo la nu la so po shi la shu wo mo chi ye so po so po mo wo shi tu ye so po ye ji la wo shi Oh,我托莫杰西托耶，索坡努拉金切，本杰拉。So po mo po li shang ji la ye so po oh nam mo la da no do la ye ye. Namo Ye Ye Bo Lo Je Di So Men La Ye So Po Oh An Shi Dien Do Man Do Oh, Mo Jie Sheng Wang Yen So Po He An Mo Jie La Shi Lie Shi So Po He You are all very, very blessed. I invite you to bow your head nine times to our beloved Compassion Buddha Kuan Yin and the 87 Buddha that came to you today to bless your request. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you all for coming. <clears throat> Sorry I didn't get to get to some of your questions. Uh, but I hope the questions that I did answer were valuable for everybody. And I look forward to continuing to serve you. <clears throat> I invite you to uh, come back Thursday. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a live stream Thursday. Life's been getting a little busy for me. But I will do my best to serve you then. Uh, 9 a.m. Hawaii time, noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that'll be 8 p.m. in the UK, 9 p.m. Central Eastern time zone. 5 a.m. in Australia, uh, and in India, it'll be about 12.30 in the evening, okay? Uh, a.m. in the morning. So, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Kuan Yin, 87 Buddha. All souls respectfully return. Bye-bye, everybody.